Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, we'll be using Harvard Text Shadows to create interactive content with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give a page a name. So I'm just calling this I'm just going to call this page Harvard Text Shadows and then I'm going to click on use the Divi builder. Now this technique we're using also works on existing pages or you can build it from scratch. But in this case, I'm gonna build this from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead now and click on build from scratch. So for now, I'm just gonna close this and then we're gonna come over here to our section settings. So let's start by adding our background color. So I'm gonna come over here, click on background and then I'm gonna click this plus button. I'm going to paste my background color in here. Now, if you want to use this, the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the tutorial in the blog post below. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click on design because we need to add some padding to this. So I'm going to click here on spacing and we're going to add 50 pixels to the top and the bottom. So notice here I'm using this uh, chain icon. So this now applies both to the top and the bottom. Now it's time to add our columns. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to come over here and click this plus button. So the column structure we need uh, is this one here, which has five items. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to close this for now. Next, I'm going to come over here to my row settings. And this is where we want to make a few adjustments. So the first thing we're going to do is to make this full width. So I'm going to come over here to sizing, make this row full width. I'm going to click on yes. Next, I'm going to come over here to use custom gutter width, and then I'm going to set this to one. Now, the gutter width is the space between the columns, so it's important that we set it to one so that there's no spaces between these columns. In fact, you'll see this once the design comes together. Next, let's, have a, let's head over here to spacing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add our left padding, for, but this is just for the desktop. Okay, so we're going to set this to 9VW, and then I'm going to click here on this little icon to add all my tablet and phone sizes. I'm going to click here on the tablet. And for the tablet and phone, we're going to set the left padding to 5VW. And this also applies to the right padding. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add it here like that. And I'm going to activate my chain because I want this to be applied to the left and the right. I'm going to do the same for the phone, making sure that you add your 5VW and then it's applied both to the left and the right. Okay, so now that we've set all our padding, now it's time to add our text module. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to click this plus button, search for my text module. And then I'm going to select it. So this is where you can just go in and add your dummy text. So the first thing you're going to do here is to add a letter. So we're going to start with letter A, hit enter, and then we're going to add our paragraph. Okay, so now that we've added our paragraph, all you need to do now is to just make sure you come over here to this side and just make sure you have the right amount of text that you need. So I'm just going to delete some of this text, to be honest, because it's a bit too much. And I'm just going to make it one paragraph like that. Right, so what we need to do now is to make this uh, large paragraph here, uh, ordered text. So I'm going to come back over here and uh, just make sure that I um, highlight that and click on bullet list. Okay, so this is exactly what we need. And uh, what you could also do is you can go ahead and make it bold. So I'm just going to highlight this first line here. I'm just going to pretend this is a title and I'm going to make it bold just like that. Now it's time to stylize our text. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on text. So the first thing we're going to do here is to make sure our text font weight is set to ultra bold. So I'm going to come over here, select ultra bold. Now, you may notice that all my settings are being applied to everything, but this will change very soon. All right, so what we're going to do now is to apply the text color. So I'm going to come over here, click on this eyedropper tool, and paste my color in here. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to follow um, the steps that I'm, uh, or the colors that I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that we have this in place, the next stage now is to add our text size. So I'm going to set this to 27 VW. So that's really nice and big. And then we're going to come over here to our tablet and phone. So to do that, we're going to click this little icon here, go to the tablet, set this to zero. Then we're going to come to the phone as well and set it to zero. Okay. Now the next stage is to enter our line height. So for our line height here, we're going to set this to 1.1. Next, we're going to come over here to our text shadow. So the option we're going to go with is this one here. So I'm going to select it. 
And then we're just going to scroll down a bit. And um, for our text shadow color, we are going to set this to white. And then for our blur strength, we're just going to drag this until we get to 0 0.01 like that. So now we just pretty much have an outline. Now, what we also need to do is to make sure that our text orientation is set to left. So just make sure that this is set to left. Right, so the next stage now is to add our hover text settings. So we're going to go back to the text color. Right, so I'm going to click this arrow here and then click on the hover tab. So this is where we want to make sure that our color here is set to white. Now let's scroll down here because we also need to add our text shadow color. So again, I'm going to click this uh, arrow, make sure uh, hover tab is selected, and then we're going to add our color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool drag the slider down a little bit and then paste my values between the brackets. So I'm just going to go back here to default. Right, so the next thing we need to do now is to set our ordered list. In fact, it's an ordered list. Right, so I'm going to click here on this third tab. So I'm going to select it. So our ordered list text color, I'm going to select white. And for the size here, we're going to set this to zero. But for the tablet and the smartphone, we're going to set it to 18 pixels. So I'm going to click here on this little icon. Click on tablet, and then I'm going to set this to 18. And uh, we're going to make sure it's the same for the phone as well. Okay, great. So now that we have this in place, the next stage now is to add our text color. So we're going to scroll down here, and this is our text shadow color. So I'm going to select the shadow and add my color. So my values are going to be placed between the brackets like that. So moving on, we are going to come over here to unordered list style type and we're going to set this to circle. Now what you may also want to do is to come over here and just make sure that uh, this is set to light. So now it's time to go to the hover state. So we're going to start off here with the um, text size. So I'm going to click here on this little icon and then I'm going to click here on hover. So the unordered list size here is supposed to be 18 pixels and make sure that by default here it's set to zero. So that this means that this only appears on hover, just like that. Now let's add our margin to the bottom. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and uh, for the margin bottom. And this is only for the tablet and the phone. So make sure you click this light, little icon here. So our bottom margin here is going to be 50 pixels and it's going to be the same for the phone. And then over here, it just needs to be left blank. Next, I'm going to add a right margin, but this time the right margin is going to be on the desktop. So I'm going to come over here and this needs to be set to minus 4VW. And for the tablet and the phone, this needs to be set to zero. So just make sure you go in and manually add these uh, numbers. Okay, so that's looking great so far. Now what we need to do is to clone this and add it to these uh, remaining columns. So let's go ahead and save this. So to clone this, I'm just going to hold down my command key and then I'm just going to click. So now it's all selected. So the next stage now is you can either hit this duplicate uh, button to duplicate uh, all four of them or you can just use a keyboard shortcut. In my case, I'm going to I'm going to hit command C to copy and that's because I want a Mac. But if you're on a PC, it's control C. Now, if you want to paste, it's control V or command V if you're on a Mac. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So what we need to do now is to go in and change the uh, content in these different columns. So first of all, I'm going to change this to a capital letter B because we want this to read about. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here and just change this. Now, as you can see, these letters, they're not like really close uh, together and they don't look all uniform. So what we need to do is to go in and add the custom margin. So I'm going to go in here and uh, just add this to the B and then you can go ahead and add the rest. So I'm going to come over here to design spacing. So the first thing we want to do here is to add a left margin of minus 2VW. So I'm just going to add it here. And now you can see the A and the B are much closer together. And for the tablet... Uh, this can be set to zero, doesn't really matter, like that. Okay, so now that you've added uh, the uh, negative margin, now you also want to come to the right and set this to minus two as well. And then what you want to do is to add 50 pixels to the bottom margin and just, add, um, just make sure that that's on the uh, tablet and also on the phone. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, all you have to do now is to add these uh, negative margins to... Uh, the left and the right, to the remaining letters. Right, so next is the letter O. So I'm going to come over here, click this gear icon, 
click on design spacing. So this time we are going to add a left margin here of minus 5.5. And then on the right, we're going to set this to mine uh, to 1.5. Now let's move on to the next letter. So we're going to click here on this gear icon, design spacing. And this time on for our margin left, we're going to set this to minus 6 VW. And on the right, we're going to set it to 2 VW. We're going to save this, move on to the next letter. Click on the gear icon. Click on design, spacing. And this time, we are going to set this to minus 7 VW. And then on the right, we're going to set this to 3 VW. Now, the reason why you really need to go in and make these... Um, customizations is because some of these letters don't have equal space between them so that's where you need to go in and add the specific sizes because if you added the same size throughout this wouldn't work all right so now that we have this let's go ahead and save we're going to exit the visual builder and see if this is working right so you can see here as i'm mousing over these letters the text is being revealed on the bottom now there's also one thing that you can do to this and that is to add different colors to these letters so i just want to show you quickly how to do that so I'm going to go back over here to enable Visual Builder. So I'm just going to go into B. And then I'm going to click here on Design, Text. So over here for our text color on Hover, let's set this to, you know, for, do this bright yellow. Okay. I'm going to save that. And we're going to do the same to the letter U. So I'm going to go ahead now, click on this little uh, gear icon, click on Design, Text. And again, on hover, we're going to set this to this bright yellow. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then what we're going to do here, in fact, I'm just going to add a bit of um, space here. Okay, so now that this, this is done, I'm just going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. And then we're just going to go through this one more time and see if this is working okay. Right, so now when we hover, you can see that it's revealing all this content on the bottom. And what you also need to do is to add custom content on the bottom here, because right now, this is just a demo. It's just showing um, the same texts across these letters. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.